Hey guys! So we're doing something really exciting today. We're getting more piercings! I'm finally gonna do this ear because it's uh, a little boring compared to this one. So she's getting a cartilage. Oh yeah. How do you feel? Um, nervous because you're the one who booked it for me. I was kind of dragged into this. A little bit. <laughs> this is the outfits of the day. Uh, trousers, Eileen Fisher, shoes, Aldo, like 100 wears. This top is thrifted, this jacket's thrifted. I haven't showed you guys this yet, it's super cool. Bad exotics. Let's go ahead. Update guys. She's so nervous. I am only getting two out of three piercings today, which is so sad, but it's okay, I'll just come back later. But they didn't have the jeweler for the, like, anti-tragus because like it's, it's technically not the anti-tragus because my ear is weird but I'm gonna do my helix and my tragus today and then come back for this one later that was what I was most excited for so oh well I'm still getting my helix <laughs> One more. Yay, did I see it? I'm gonna zoom. There you go. It's a lot of pressure and just depending on the anatomy. Yeah. If it takes a lot to get there, like if it takes a lot of tools to get there and a lot of like push on, on the other right. areas, it can make it just longer and drawn out. Yeah. I don't think the piercing is painful, but I think just the just movement is yeah. like Um, and then we went to Blue Boho after, which I didn't vlog because I was too into buying jewelry. But I got this little bar stuff. 
And then I also got this stunning hoop, which I'm gonna eventually put in my cartilage. It'll be all good. Oh my god. We're back. Day two. Going to get my antichagus today. Literally just stopped by at her house. We ate some ruffles and some hell of a good dip. Yeah. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go. By the way, guys, this is the outfit today. Can you see? It's like so dark. Made in USA. Eileen Fisher. Eileen Fisher. This is also made in the USA. Boots. Oh, someone's getting on. Okay, bye. Okay. Two different size beads, some smaller ones and some larger ones. And I'm gonna figure that out this week. Okay. We don't want them. If anything, it's gonna lean this direction rather than that direction. Just grab it. Hey guys, wanted to jump in here to quickly explain the experience behind this specific piercing. Um, this was the most painful one for me. I'd say it's about an 8 out of 10 because it took so long for the needle to go through my ear. And it put a lot of pressure in that area as well afterwards. Um, and it's the first piercing that I've actually felt lightheaded about after. But basically, it took a while because... He was explaining how it has to be done properly at the right angle um, so that your outer skin that's first pierced um, doesn't get pinned incorrectly to your cartilage. Um, so he has to make sure that the angle that it goes in, like he has to first go through the outer skin to the cartilage and then from the cartilage out the other side. So that's why it took so long in the beginning. Um, but yeah, I hope that makes sense. And then you can see here that he's just you know, swapping it out for the jewelry and now he's repositioning it because we want to make sure that the curve is um, like curving down up instead of going up down. Um, so you can see he's moving it around here to make sure it's in the right position. All of those black markings on my ear are from him mapping out my ear to make sure that he's getting the right angles and stuff like that. Um, you can see him cleaning that up later, but I think it's it shows that he knows what he's doing and the care that goes into actually making sure your piercing's in the right spot. I want to put it in the right angle because it is a curve bar. Yeah. So I want to put cool. it in the right angle so when it heals, I mean, you're going to have to move it yourself as well, obviously, during the, the day, so as well as to make sure that it can stay where I want it. Awesome! It's just very hard to get to that spot because yeah. it wants to sit up like the way we want it, yeah. or it wants to sit down. It doesn't really want to sit on the angles, yeah. so it's like when it, if it flips over, it just flips all the way. It's hard to get oh, it back to, okay. to the other way right now. So Once we get like a week into the healing, it'll be easy. So that will like strengthen, but for the next like four days, it's gonna be it's tough, gonna be tough. Okay. to push it into that spot. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Take a pee. You like? Yeah. <laughs> We're at a Korean restaurant. I got the piercing. As you guys thought, this is literally the most painful piercing of my life. Like 8 out of 10. Like I like feel so much pressure in my ear. It took 10 seconds for the needle to go through. Anyway, I feel like it's really loud here, so I'll update you guys like when we get back to the apartment. But Right now. Yeah, we did it. We're done. Food is here. Yum. Yeah. I demolished all this because I was so hungry. <laughs> but ignore that. So I just wanted to conclude this video. I know it's been super sporadic. I might 
film like a sit down portion and kind of explain everything but if not then this is what you guys get um, kind of like a vlog style to capture my piercing experience um, I am an Aries so I do go all in or nothing at all when I'm doing things so obviously three piercings in the span of like four days is what I do um, but I hope you guys enjoy this is my current ear situation the anti-tragus is definitely my most painful piercing to date so yeah, I hope it doesn't scare you. I hope that if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting any of these piercings that you should just go for it. It's like 10 seconds the max of pain and then you're fine for like the rest of your life. Um, so everything looks good. That's what it looks like. I was looking last night and I'm not a big fan of the coloring because this is a titanium curved barbell that they made gold, but it's like a darker gold. Um, so... Part of me wants to buy like actual gold balls to go to go into the end so it matches my ear, but the other part of me knows that. I'm just gonna change this to another piece of jewelry when it heals in six weeks. So not six weeks, but like two months, three months. Um so I'm just gonna leave it for now. Um but yeah, I really do hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please give it a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. That means so much to me. I'll also link my Instagram down below and I'll also leave a link to Exotics. This is not sponsored, not partnered, anything like that. Like I literally go and spend my own money there. Um I just think it's the best piercing place in Toronto if you're looking for kind of something similar to um Maria Tash. If you guys have any questions too, please feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to answer them. Um, yeah, let's have a conversation. I'm not like an expert on piercings, so uh, don't expect me to know everything. It's better to just go to a piercing place and get asked them. Everyone's ear is different. Everyone's anatomy is different. When I first walked in to get all of these three, he said that only the triggers would work for me, but like I told him about what I kind of wanted and we worked around it. So yeah, thanks six. If you guys go to Exotics, let him know um, that I told you to go there because I think that'd be super cool. I think he like thinks that I'm just this total weirdo. So it'd be cool if like, he sees you guys, you know? If you guys want an update video, like a one to two month update video, hit that thumbs up button and then I will also do that for you guys. I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.